Hi everyone, it's Leslie. Welcome back to my cross stitch channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my finished project. And I really, really was anxious to get this um, finished by the end of 2023. This is a kit by Heritage Crafts, Karen Carter Collection, called Country Village. And what I'm going to do in this video, I'm, I'm going to take you from... Because I started this at the beginning of 2023. So, I am going to show you, I'll take you back when I opened this kit. What, show you what's inside the kit. And I'm going to make a time lapse of how this um, project was made. So you can see... It bit by bit, like a puzzle forming into one big pro and that's not that not big, but but one big project, and then showing you what this project looked like with and without back stitching. And at the end of the video, I'm just gonna share with you my thoughts on how this was made and how it is to cross stitch this kit. So it's gonna be interesting, so stay tuned. It's Leslie. Welcome back to my cross stitch channel. Today I'm going to start a new cross stitch project and this is a kit by Heritage Crafts. I ordered this kit from Great Britain. Um, this is by Karen Carter Collection uh, 14 count Aida fabric and this is all whole stitches um, and a lot of back stitching. This is a country village or I, I just like to call it English village. Uh, this is the back uh, side of it, and this is, um, they have two other different um, uh, kits in this collection. I would really like to buy this one someday, the cross stitch one. This I am not so in love with like, as this one. This one is the best. And here you can see it. this is a uh, kit contains Swigard fabric, a needle, DMC strand of floss, 8 by 8 inches or 20 and a half by 20 and a half uh, centimeters. Mm. And this is what it looks like in the back of it. Colorful, uh, colorful floss. Uh, the, the chart is in black and white. And I am going to open it right now and show you what's inside. Stay tuned. So let's see what's inside. For, first is the, the needle. This is by John James. I think they're, the needles by John James are quite okay. I like them. Here is the floss. And this is a disappointment because the floss is quite short. I really like the um, uh, Dimensions floss. They have a very, very long floss. This is not... This is not very good for me. I I like to use long floss when I cross stitch. But the colors are amazing and this is DMC. Very good quality. And it looks like it's the same here as well. Yes, it's a disappointment. Well, well this is... Um, this is very, very light cardboard. This is almost like paper. So this can break. But you can see that all the cross, uh, all the numbers are already on the organizer. So that is very easy. You don't have to put them on. Everything is done. Here you have the fabric. Or the, yeah, this is for the fabric. It's not a very big piece. This is um, Zweigert. And I like Zweigert. It's very, um, it's very, very soft. Easy to, to cross stitch on. And here is the instructions. As I said before, this is I'm gonna be cross stitching on um, with whole cross stitches, and um, there's a lot of back stitching. Let me just show you the preview here. There's a lot of back stitching, and here is the chart. And as you can see, the chart can it's like. Two pieces of, um, let me just get it out. I'm not going to show you the whole chart. Um, there are two 
sheets of um, two pages of crust uh, of the chart here with the symbols, and there are two two sheets or two pages with uh, the back stitching. So the back stitching is not doesn't it's, it's, a, it's on separate paper, which I think is very good. Easy, it'd be easier, maybe much more easier for me to cross stitch if it's on two different sheets. I'm probably gonna cross stitch uh, the whole project, the whole project first, and do the back stitching when I'm done with all of the crosses. So this is good that they have. They keep it separately, the chart with the symbols and the chart with the back stitching. So that is a big plus. The only minus that I can see right now is the floss because it's so short. But we'll see. I'll give it a try and I'll see what's ha what happens. I'll see you soon. is what I cross stitched let me show you a little bit closer so you can see uh, as you can see here this project has a lot of back stitching and this is one of the mistakes I made I'm not ever gonna do this again because it was so hard and time-consuming my plan was to from the beginning to cross stitch the project first just do cross stitches, full, and this is only full cross stitches here. There's no half a cross stitch here. And then leave the back stitching for, till the very, very end. And I'm not going to do it because there was so much back stitching. It was so complicated. I felt like I had to force myself to back stitch to get this um, project ready before the end of the year. And when I force myself to cross stitch or back stitch, it, it doesn't feel like I'm enjoying the project. I'm just forcing myself to do it. So next time when I cross stitch, I am not going to leave back stitching for last. I'm just going to make like a cross stitch this part here and then do the back stitching. Cross stitch this part, this part here and then the back stitching. And not leave everything to the very end because there's so much of it. And it's complicated and some parts here like on the flowers i had to simplify the back stitching because it was so time consuming it, it took so long to make if you can see here the back stitching on the flowers in the middle here it's not the same i just made a circle here just to simplify it and um, I did simplify the roofs of this, the roof of this house and this house. I didn't do much back stitching here. I did, I did do back stitching on this roof, but not here. And um, the fields here, I did simplify them a little bit as well. It's not as complicated as is here. I didn't follow the back stitching that meticulously. I just, I kind of like made up my own a little bit. But I am still pleased. I mean, it's very, very bright and vibrant, beautiful colors. Uh, I do not like that to use um, black and white symbols. It's not my favorite. My favorite is when uh, the chart is in color. I think it's so much easier for me to follow it when it's in color. But this is black and white. 
And uh, the finished project is uh, eight by eight, eight, uh, eight by eight inches, or twenty and a half by twenty and a half centimeters. That's what it says here. And this is Svalgard fabric, DMC floss, and I still have a lot of floss left. So they put a good amount of floss in their kits. So that was good. This is DMC floss. Good quality. Good quality floss. Good quality fabric. And there are like 36 colors in here. And you have to change them very, very often. But it makes the project very, very bright and vibrant. So I am pleased and I'm happy that I had, so I could finish it the, by the end of this year and I have a lot uh, a couple of other kits I have this kit here in the, and from this collection and I have two other kits like this, this these are poppies and uh, daisies these two don't have that much backstitching this one has a lot of backstitching as well but these two don't have that much and they have some but not so much but I think that Probably this kit, this one, has the most backstitching. Even, I think it's more than this one. Or maybe the same. But I am happy with the result. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash this one. And I, I'm not planning on cross-stitching any of these kits in the future. Maybe later, I don't know. This was it for today. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my project. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment, subscribe. And I want to wish you all a happy new year. And I hope in this new year, you will be able to buy all the kits that you want. Uh, and all the fabric, all the floss, all the charts that you want i hope that you will be able to do it and i hope that we all will have the time to cross stitch and the finances to buy all the cross stitch kits and all the accessories and stuff that you need to cross stitching that is my wish for 2024 for you and me so i'll see you next in my next video happy new year bye bye